What's good, Jets Nation? Um, this is going to be not a very happy video, not very positive, because this is a video that is about very devastating news, as you guys can tell from the title. Carl Lawson got carted off the field today in Jets training camp against the Green Bay Packers. This is devastating. There's no positive spin on this. And in this video, I just want to give you guys my thoughts. As I'm recording this video, we do not know the extent of the injury. We do not know how long Carl Lawson will be out, or we do not know what the diagnosis is whatsoever. But it is definitely not a good sign that he got caught it off and he cannot walk and put zero you know weight on that leg everybody that was at training camp that all of a sudden everything got quiet people were praying around him and uh, the trainers were surrounding Carl Lawson so definitely no positive signs coming out of this injury front but at the same time we do not know the extent of the injury so we can only hope it's something that's not going to sideline him for way too long or hopefully not the entire season Carl Lawson his injury history is he tore his ACL in 2014 in his left leg and he tore his right ACL in 2018 so he does have a little uh, injury history but let's hope that's not the case when it comes to this one you know best case scenario it's like a hyper extension of the knee and he'll be out for a couple weeks but listen guys I do not know the extent of the injury so if you guys are watching this by the time that the uh, news came out or we know what the injury is my apologies I do not know it currently but in this video I just want to give you guys my thoughts of the injury because it's very devastating. My energy right now is not high. You know, guys know me if you watch all my videos, so I'm very optimistic. I'm very positive when it comes to, you know, my channel. But I'm trying to, you know, get my mind straight because Carl Lawson was the best player in Jets training camp. He was dominating every single practice. We saw, you know, news that he was getting to the quarterback with ease, absolutely dominating against the Packers, against the Jets offensive line. He was just bound to have a breakout season. We gave him a really big contract, three-year, $45 million. He was an X factor for this Jets defense. But the one thing I will say is if he is out for a long time, I have confidence in the Jets next man up mentality. We do have a lot of depth at this defensive line. But you can't really replace him. We do not have anybody as talented as Carl Lawson on the roster at the edge rusher position at all. That's not what I'm saying. He's not replaceable by any means necessary. He was bound to be a very good player. I was excited for Carl Lawson to, you know, put his name out there as one of the top edge rushers in the entire NFL because he doesn't really have that national recognition just yet. And I felt like this year was going to, you know, put him, you know, around the NFL. If people look at him as like, wow, that's one of the top premier edge rushers in the league and he's on the Jets. So very devastating news, guys. There's no positive spin on this. I just needed to give you guys my thoughts. Uh, hopefully, the news will come out that it's not too serious, but we don't know. Comment down below your thoughts of this news. I know there's no positive spin on this, guys. It's very devastating, but at the same time, the Jets have been very fortunate on the injury front so far in training camp and preseason. We've had only you know small nagging injuries to guys like Elijah Vert Tucker and Elijah Moore. So an injury was bound to happen eventually because if you look around the league, there's injuries everywhere, but that's still no excuse. That's still no you know positive spin on it. I'm just giving you guys perspective that injuries are part of the game, and it's extremely unfortunate. I can I'm just very upset right now as you guys can see the entire Jets nation is upset even the NFL world is upset right now because Carl Lawson was dominating all practice every single day so hopefully fingers crossed prayers up to Carl Lawson um, that does it for this video and I'll catch you guys in my recap of the day two of Jets and Packers joint scrimmage so I'll catch you guys next time peace out